<laughs> hey guys, <laughs> today we're gonna be doing episode 16. There's a motorcycle. Great. <laughs> we're joined by Horny Horse. Dying dog. Hey, Lana. <laughs> hey, Lana. No, right. You look like you you ate too much spicy food. <laughs> um. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Um. These nuts. Can I take this thing off now? No. Fuck you. So today we're gonna to be talking about, um... Life. This is, um... <laughs> pigeon therapy. Um... <laughs> I haven't paid my taxes yet. I'm gonna do that in the next few months. Um... Horny Horse Jesus Face Reveal. Just admit... On... <laughs> to Tax um, just commit several counts of tax evasion casually. <laughs> I can't take this off because um, this is a curse. If the government sees my COVID. face, I'm gonna die. It's COVID. He's this gotta, is my COVID nineteen mask. <laughs> <laughs> I walk into stores <laughs> like this. So does Alano. He's done there. <laughs> done there. <laughs> Alana, how are you feeling? <laughs> I can do that too. Okay, can we can we talk about something of substance now? Okay, what do you want to talk about? Uh, let's 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 get political. Do you guys want to get political? No. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, Coco? Let's talk about like pigeons or well, need to be loved more. We have a podcast with no topic. Oh my god. Keith Pigeon needs to be loved more. I need to be loved more. Fuck you. I need to be loved more. But Please. society. I need some loving in my balls. Look at me. Look at the man I have As turned soon as I was going to talk about success, systemic injustice, he started to love me <laughs> balls. You want to become me. We went from... This we're, is from the cup. We were just about to talk about systemic injustice, and I just pop out like... Let's talk about systemic injustice. Something that I've been thinking about a lot is, uh, in Raph 2, is white women. Oh my god. Uh, no more white women! <laughs> No more white Why do you women. say that, Raph? I, I, I say this because Keith white women have become canceled. one of the most predatory subspecies of human in this planet. One of the one of the most divisive abusers of their powers in the modern world. And this is evident in in every sort of social environment, in every sort of social space, in every in every and any civilization where there is a white woman who knows she has power, there is a white woman who will abuse that power. And that is found not in um, not only in America, not only in California, not only in fucking SoCal, at your Whole Foods, like not just there, but it's found in every single corner of the globe. The the white woman paradox created by this earth has has become a big stain, a big doo doo stain. On the underpants of the world, would you say? Would you say, Coco? Yeah. So you agree? All right. What does does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes or no? <laughs> I I I believe there's, there's a out. metaphor there. Just for now. There's a metaphor there. Never mind. There is not a metaphor. In that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that pineapple on pizza shouldn't even exist. It's a hate crime. Um, 
I hate people who speaking of speaking lives. of hate crime. It is. It's. It, it's like. <laughs> Let's talk about white women and their white savior complex. <laughs> yeah. Say that white savior complex yeah. and um. And um. Victimized white women. Victimized white women. It's actively harmful. Oh. Uh, that too. And I'm not even talking about the minor examples like fucking, oh, like so, like wrongful accusations of rape. No, no, that's that's a percentage of it. That's a percentage of the of the grand scheme of, of, white women hijinks across the earth. I'm talking about shit like Emmett Till. Oh yeah, Emmett Till. Till. Like you think Emmett Till was a one-time thing? That shit's been happening for a while now. And Emmett Till was the first big case because that was the first visceral scene of a black man being basically executed by a white woman for no reason yeah that's sad but a, a, not not a black man a black teenager a black boy a black child being executed because a white woman wanted that shit yeah that's, just because and you know what's sad she lied decades later that the they, white woman knew yeah. she knew that that child did nothing yeah she knew that child did nothing and it's sad that his mother never got to live long enough to see that it was all a lie. That the woman right. lied about, you know, him doing stuff to her when it was a She show. admitted to but it several decades place. afterwards. I know. Before, like, Way after. Way after it was too late. The murders of Emmett Till. Did they get jail time? Did they get jail time? I don't know. They never got justice. I don't know. Actually. It's sad. But, um... McDonald's. Yeah, I've got a boy just really killed. McDonald's is the best fast food restaurant. And then America goes is gonna do the same thing it's been doing for the last four (laughs) hundred fucking years. Sweep that shit under the fucking rug, cause that's all we're good for. Sweeping shit, covering shit up. You think China's bad? No, sir. China is the fucking ugly on the for on the forefront, bad at the back front. America is pretty, but terrible at the back. Like, upper half Lizzo, lower half fucking Lindsay Lohan. That's true. <laughs> but, um, McDonald's is the best fast food restaurant. Agree or disagree? <laughs> yeah, I'm go- Anyways. Agree or disagree? McDonald's, McDonald's is such an overrated piece of shit. It is. Thank disagree. you. You disagree? Lay-o fish. Period. Anyway, what is yeah, in the filet of fish? That's a good, what is in a filet of fish? That's a good counter argument. Yeah, like, filet of fish is pretty good, but what's in a filet of fish? Fish. No, no, no. What specifically is in a filet of fish? Hydrogen I peroxide. Around. Imagine Alana come back. He just has no hair. Alana speaking. We can hear you, Alana. Oh, this is gonna be a really interesting podcast. I could tell. Smartphones You're make just us like... stupid. Agree or disagree? <sighs> <laughs> what do you have to say on this, Milano? Coco! Oh, oh my god. I like Coco. Oh, Coco, you just. Ah! <laughs> That's just, he's just sitting there. He's staring at me funny. Look at that man. He's the dangerous camera on the planet. Agree Down here. Camera right here. Disagree. Good. Down here. Down. Down. Agree or disagree? Animals are the best. I mean, Down. most dangerous Thanks. humans on the planet. What? That doesn't even make sense, Anthony. <laughs> what? Agree or disagree? Right here. Okay, thanks. Agree or disagree? Don't you <laughs> <move>. <laughs> the way it moves. <laughs> <laughs> what is your camera? It's obviously tracking your face, you Nimrod. Holy I know. Shit. I know it is. Why are you trying to use your hands? It's like a baby. Well, it tracks skin. Oh, a lot of those. Agree or disagree? Um. Which is better, um, tap water or bottled water? Agree or disagree? Anthony, please. Anthony, could we have an actual, like, topic of discussion that's sort of interesting? I feel like, um, white savior complex leads to more actual harm than good. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Also, do you think no one should ever tell a lie? <laughs> Agree or disagree? 
I feel like lies are necessary in some situations. Yes. A hundred percent. True honesty is not only unrealistic, but would inevitably cause more harm than good. I feel like a lie, depending on the situation and placement and, you know what I mean, the lie being said, would help more than... I mean, like, if you're, if you're like, fucking free-balling it, and you're just like, hey, I want to be completely honest, see how the fuck goes, go ahead. It's, it might turn out, what the fuck? <laughs> uh. A lot of what is going on in your, in your room? Aura Borealis. <laughs> It's becoming a bit bright in here. The fucking sun <laughs> just inhabited your room now. It's daytime, it's a different time zone, it's fine. Just like fucking Aurora Borealis in this part of the country. What the fuck? Okay, so now it's a blackout. <laughs> blackout! Alright, like, um, back to the weight savior thing, I feel like that perpetuates um, a kind of subconscious thinking of, I'm better than you. Like, like oh, Especially the, 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 the people who are, like, who talk, like, childishly in front of, like, people with, like, autism or, like, mental disabilities. Yes. Like, they'll be like, oh my god, yes, of course. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Good job! Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them to make them feel okay. Like, you're not better than anybody, you fucking condescending little bitch. Yes. Hear yes, me right. out on this. I hate. You what? know who that reminds You guys know who it reminds me of, right? What? More specifically, yeah, we don't even need to say in that. In eighth grade, before everything went down, when our good friend, you, you all know his name, had joined, and people started finding out he had his um condition, right? I noticed too that um the person was uh acting a little different. You know what I mean? Acting a little different. A little different. And. Bear in mind, our friend, right, he, he, he had already been, like, pretty well instilled at the time, you know what I mean? He was a little bit, you know, but, like, he was, like, me in sixth grade, you know what I mean? But that got over pretty quick, you know what I mean? Like, pretty friendly, you know what I mean? It was cool, it was cool. And uh, the moment that that person had found out that our friend was, you know what I mean? Like, they just started acting very different. I think this was literally just before the whole meltdown. And everything happened. I like I'm just beating around like 30 bushes. I don't even know what you're talking about. What part of the sandwich are you? <laughs> are you the meat, the cheese, the tomato, the lettuce, or the bun? I'm the are cheese. Are you the mayonnaise, the mustard, the relish, or the sauerkraut? I'm the bun because the I keep everything together. Anthony's the meat. Alano is the, is the vegetables and the sauces. And I'm the I cheese. I love meat. <laughs> Two Alanos Alano at the same the time. Why is Alano the vegetables? Is it because he's like the vegan of the group? Oh, he fills oh, in okay. all the. Oh, he fills in the missing hey, spots. Hey, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? How am I um, the meat? What does the meat do? The it's meat is the heart. Like, you're the main attractor. You're like the heart of the sandwich. I'm so hot. I yes. know. Yeah. Um, you're what people come here for. You know. Yeah. You're, mm. Everything You're literally the most oh. famous out of all of us. Oh. <laughs> knows the vegetables and sauces because he he works off of what we provide. You know. Yeah. He, he, like, by, by himself, he might be a little misunderstood. Others, he's even yes. better. And then I'm the cheese because I'm just like you know what I mean. Just Black the shit. And taller. Yeah, we know. You add it to any situation. Mwah. You know what cheese I'm saying? The cheese everywhere. You make me shit. <laughs> <laughs> you make me constipated, ref. <laughs> then of course, Coco's the bun because we said so. Yes, but actually, he just bun. he just holds it all down really nicely. Like you can't have a burger without Try a to, bun. Tr and trying to give it. We really need to. Just, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we talk about what happens in Ray. So, 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 all right, we have a good friend, Ray. I don't know if you know, uh, he has like 30 different names. He ordered a burger off of Uber Eats recently. Actually, wait, no. Cut that out, cut that out. He ordered a burger 
from a, from a random place on a on a non-disclosed uh, food ordering app. Might rhyme with Uber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it the Goofy Goober Express? <laughs> so 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 so. Um, he ordered a cheeseburger, and he, he, <gasps> the first time he ordered it, right, he went to pick it up and it got stolen. Right. That's that's fault number one. All right. So he's like, okay, he gets his money back, whatever. He orders it again. He gets the order. He picks it up, right? He opens the box. <laughs> he ordered a cheeseburger. <laughs> he got a piece of cheese. <laughs> and a burger. You break the grandmother's heart. You fix it for you don't. The man opened the box. There's just a piece of meat and a piece of cheese right there. Sloppy, oh, greasy cheese. meat and cheese. You break your mother's heart. You break your mother's heart. How the fuck do you mess that up? How does that happen? What? Oh. I want a burger, just meat, just cheese. Okay. I'm How on do you keto hold that? diet. Maybe they thought he was being keto. He's on a keto. <laughs> He literally could have just went to the grocery store and bought hamburger and cheese and literally could have done it better than that. I mean, no, less. literally, because that's all they did. Exactly. I don't even think it was so, real. Here. So it's probably oh, my God. Frozen. I don't know so, when I'm getting the haircut. It's like nine. Bro. I don't think you're going to get comes back with the hair. Alano, do you have a topic? <laughs> I imagine one day I wake up and the Alano's just gonna be there and his hair's all braided. Like fucking corn Rick roll. Up, this isn't a dream, oh man. <laughs> That's so menacing with the, 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 the piece of paper. <laughs> I like how your hair sort of looks like the Adidas <laughs> logo. Like wear hats that much. I've never seen him wear a hat. Never. You, why don't you wear more hats? I don't know. I wear more you hats have perfect now. hat hair. And hat I've hair? never seen you. Yes, hat hair. Okay, can we? I don't okay. think so. Yeah. It pushes into my eyes. That's why I need a cut. This is terrible hat hair. I can only wear certain hats. I know I have straight hair. The, the wearability is very weird because well, I have an afro. Just cut it off. Yeah, exactly. I did. You remember? No. I was bald for I like remember. half a year. No. You no. could have wore hats then. No. I did. No. That's. I didn't like my hair. No. Should have worn more hats. I no, did. Anthony, what are you trying to Even say? more hats. How many hats can I wear? Like, six at once. If you make them, if you make the, the front part face a different way, like, on every hat, you can you can look like a, like a little battle tower. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I can probably... Don't give Coco any ideas. He has, like, 50 hats. Dude, my Dude, hair, they're even, all though, right. even though my hair is straight, it is, when it gets long, it, it sucks when I wear a hat, because then my straight hair, like, goes over my eyes, and I have to, like, part it. I'm just saying, we should all collectively grow our hair, and then Coco just has a massive afro, Anthony gets cornrows, Alano gets double strand twists, and I just go what bald. What are cor cornrows? What do you mean you, you go bald? You said cornrows we should all grow like our hair out and you go bald? Like... What? It's like braided hair that goes all the way down and then out oh. the back. No. Your hair grew back no. I'm not doing no, that. No, it could have like different designs and stuff. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> you, I don't think you should. That's your hair is gonna get ruined. I want that hair. Good. I had a dream recently where I had like a huge head of hair, right? Mm -hmm. and then it just came in and just straightened it. I'm gonna be like and this just person. Oh. What? Yeah. The vague outline of what I think is a woman. No, it's not. I want I want a lot Anthony to look like this guy. I can't see through the mask. Can I got, you like yeah. get in the mask and show me? Dingin with cornrows. Mm -mm. I'm not doing cornrows. Why not? I, I'm not. It doesn't, you should. Fit me. it doesn't fit me. I know I do not see myself doing what I want to look like. That's that's my that's my hair, so that's what it's I like want to look like. Alano in his 50s. It looks like my dad. That actually looks like my dad. <laughs> it's like Alano. Coco, you've seen my dad too. You could, yeah. That's the point. Guys, my lips getting itchy inside this mask. How come? 
Then take off the mask! It's getting itchy. And like... Oh, Anthony, check the group chat. I'm, I'm running out of oxygen. I don't know why. Take the mask off. I don't know how to. <laughs> I think I need a, an operation. <laughs> Bro, I look like I work at like a... Like a... A surfing company. Should we get some special guests in here? Anthony. We need special guests for this podcast. That would that would definitely. Make Holy better. shit! My nostrils are massive. Put on the horse mask. Anthony, I just want my fucking just like... <laughs> That's All I ever want. During like the fucking podcast, and we just keep going. Here, I'll look, I was looking up debatable topic, the baby bolt, debatable topic. <laughs> Lose it. Fun, silly, a hundred is interesting debate topics. We can just do this. Um, all right. Okay. Can you just give me the debate topics? What? What's better, ranch or mayonnaise? Debate. Definitely oh. ranch. You can do a lot more things at ranch. Mayonnaise is a little disgusting. Um. I don't understand people who so hate on Steph Curry. The man is the eighth seed in the in the West in the NBA, and he's putting up forty points a game. On some of the best splits we've seen in the last decade or so. There's some debate from topics a- for college students. Social networking sites are used for stalking instead of communicating. Is that true? It's it's not used for sto- No, no. It's a small percentage, if anything, but, uh, what if maybe sites like this are outside your window right now. Am I asleep? Is this a fever dream? Why? There's an octopus on my hand. Alano's a piece of paper. Anthony's wearing a bird mask, and Raph's perfectly fine for once in his life. Well, it's no longer a fever dream. What do you mean by that? Dream. What did no you want to say? <laughs> Am I getting called a druggie? Maybe. Hey. Consider I've been done. sober. Been canceled I've on been so. I mean, I mean, I've never You've had drugs before. Canceled on Twitter. You cannot say anything for two weeks now. Yo, what are your guys' opinion on Arby's? They got There's the meat. Right it they looks so meat. good. It looks so good on paper, and then on on, on practice, just like communism. Yeah. Yeah. Just like capitalism, like our economy. Me and Coco will talk about that later. What do you yo, think about yo, Good Burger, Alana? Yo, Alana, you're sitting on Alana. Yeah, Alana, 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 yeah Alana, it follows Alana. me. Alana, what do you like about Good Anthony, Burger? Anthony, what's your favorite thing from Arby's? Answer the question. Good Burger, what's your favorite thing from Good Burger? Anthony, you're a terrible host. You like Good Burger? This is the worst podcast so far. Please, just answer the question. What do you think? Uh, Reese's Puffs? I think they're great. <laughs> I hate Arby's. Arby's is the number trauma in my life. What? I've never ate in an Arby's. I'd Burger. rather die. I'd rather get shot and killed the brutally. meat in the mountain. Arby's again. The meat mountain looks Even so good. Arby's. Wait, is Arby's just the meat missing? mountain? Is that referencing penis? I think so. Is Arby's just misleading? It's very misleading. 100%. Even yeah, some the of the food actually right. looks misleading? very good. Whoever does the ad should be oh, promoted. Sugar chicken. Yeah, the voice actor is pretty good. I mean, he has a deep voice. On a top bun? Yeah. This shit look nasty as fuck! <laughs> okay, I think that looks good, right? Yeah, I guess so. I'd rather... What are you trying to do? Picture of me and Alana it's together. Right. You're right, we should do Would You Rathers. You're right, oh, oh, Coco. I want to set fire to every single Arby's. Come on, man, not cool. Not what if cool, I worked at Arby's? Coco, I don't get how, how Arby's is still in business. Not I honestly cool, don't. Coco, not cool. Who's the buying ads. from Arby's? The Who's ads. Buying They're from from all new Arby's. people. It's always I new am. people. I'm buying Who? From no one buying. goes back. There's I'm only 7 billion people Arby's. on Earth. Are you I telling me that? From Arby's. Are you telling me that? I what I am. Why do my lips move like that? There's probably like eight billion by now. I am. Good burger. 
Good burger. You want to know what they put in meat? You want to know what they put in Arby's Bunger? meats? Children. Or hopes and Bunger? dreams. Oh. Bunger. Bunger. I went to that depression. Bunger. I went to Arby's once. I Bunger. did not Bunger. come out this I was going to give Ilano a sweater, but Bunger. I don't know how to the do The meat that. mountain. I saw a dude, he ordered the, the meat mountain, and then he t po posted a picture of it. And it had fucking cum on it or some shit. Bunger. Like, I don't know what the- Why'd he cum on it? Bunger? Arby's gay, confirmed. The chef's Arby's Bunger? gay, confirmed. Why'd the, the guy fuck? cum on it, though? <laughs> the fuck? Um... Did they need to put, like, a warning, like, not to be cummed you know, on? You know, like, yeah, the, 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 like, the joke either. where it's like, oh, made with love? Made with- Or showing a white screen to us. <laughs> Did you get a and new phone? Like, oh, what is oh, going so on? much yeah. detail. Mm. Lower your brightness. Cool, Ooh. right? Ooh. There's boobies if you go far enough. You know. What do you mean you don't? We know. Would you rather have the ability to see any volume of cum, or have perfect vision and complete lightness? Can you guys see what's on my phone? In complete what? Lightness. What is lightness? You... Take off the mask! It is... So we're gonna talk about how I grew like three inches in the middle of the fucking stream. Guys, I figured out that I, I was think... six what? foot... Like I used to be down here, and now I'm up here. Yeah, you just set up. I grew a little too. I f oh God. <laughs> I got measured a few days ago and I figured out. You look so sad. And a half. I didn't realize how tall I was. What? But like Arby's all over it's again. It's so weird though to not be in the five feet range anymore. It like now I, it's it's weird. What the fuck are you talking about? Like I'm six <laughs> foot now. I'm not five eleven anymore. I got measured a few days ago. You're six feet. feet. Yeah. No, I'm the only one that's still five. I haven't measured in a while. Oh my god. I don't think that's true. So now there's three of us who are six feet tall. I'm, I'll tall catch up, guys. I need At to see if I got a long I schlong. I don't know why, but I don't believe it. I feel like Whip it out. What Whip it out right now. What? Let's measure. I'm not going to measure right now. I, I measured. I got measured a few days ago, so. No, not height. Not height. Not height. My penis? Yes. It's literally the size of this room. Alright, let me think. Don't look me in middle school. It's to go outside. I'm gonna use this <laughs> to measure my penis. Hold up, it's nine. I'm gonna remind him that. It's nine! Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, on well, you guys can chill with this one for a bit. He looks like such a good boy. You guys want to see my renegade? I want to be happy again, bro. Yeah, it's 15 inches. It wasn't even 15 inches. Guys, the new Charlie. Even drink. know if you the renegade or not. Let's do the renegade. Podcast. Podcast. It just progressively got worse. <laughs> we thought it out so good. Now we're doing the renegade. <laughs> what are you doing? Did <laughs> <laughs> you Charlie drink? <laughs> We're grooving. So can we talk about the biochemical reactions when we put black tar heroin into a 24 millimeter tube? Um, so when that usually happens, the quantum it. cells have the valence electrons, which give them the outer shell. But with the black tar heroin, it kind of confuzzles these atoms 
and kind of just separates them into tiny little molecules riding and, f and riding around each other up in the air and once we do that we have the Colombian cocaine this is a little method I'd like to say called ooh, Molly ooh, 2. good topic can we talk about how 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 much more of a severe crime you'll get for 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 taking crack than taking cocaine then I must be really you wanna know why you want to know why that is do you want to know why that is rich people can buy cocaine rich people can afford cocaine crack is an alternative that happens to be cheaper so yeah. when they were writing the laws the drug laws they knew that they knew that you'd probably be poorer if you took crack you than if you took cocaine an ipad or an iphone so <laughs> listen so in that that is why you will get a much longer sentence for being caught with crack than being caught with cocaine much longer you'd have to have a hundred times the amount of crack as you would or a hundred times the amount of crack to get this equal amount of sentence a hundred times not including not including judicial variances fucking every difference that could happen from the fucking judicial system the people in your own jury like all those factors and you still might not even get like a normal sentence for having cocaine or crack it won't be equal just because like cocaine is more expensive they're, like the same they're in use the same thing <laughs> they, they, even how they're chemically structured is practically identical practically identical and we're still still gonna be like oh crack longer mm. sentence it is not only classes it is racist too incredibly and people are still all like oh don't do drugs just don't do drugs who do you think's putting the drugs here if it was that easy oh don't do drugs guys okay drugs is now gone like they've been saying that for over 40 years no longer hundreds of years now decades and it's still happening and it's gonna keep happening. It's just gonna keep Stop happening. That's there. it. Shout out to opioids for w winning the war on drugs. Congrats to them. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Welcome to today's okay, sponsor. No. Drug the space. real winners of Good the war on drugs space. was you the one percent. You can store your illegal content. The only people self. who won from the you war on drugs was the one percent. heroin just yet. With drug space, you can save any illegal substance with just a click of a button. Use code Peace Pigeon to download it for free today. Use code Peace Pigeon with drug space. So let's talk about the SpaceX mission to Mars. Like, what the hell is Elon Musk doing? <laughs> like, he Who was said just in something? a Saturday Night Live. That's the same man that's going to send us to Mars. I think when we have a proper something topic, Anthony now. just loves just interjecting in there. Some says some shit like, "What do you prefer more, smooth body wash or rough body wash?" Well, smooth and then, because and then you then want he... your skin to be smooth, smooth. right? Because if it's yeah. rough, we it... were just talking about systemic racism and classism, and you're just gonna be like, "Oh, body wash." Like, what the he started, started it. He started it. He started it. You started it. Let's talk about Elon Musk for a sec. I have no idea what he wants to do on Mars. Mars is literally nothing. It's just a checkpoint, I guess. Checkpoint. Let's be worried more about what resort, what we could use those resources he's going to go to Mars with, yeah, on what we, we could like, do here. Our own oceans aren't even explored that much. Definitely. It's not even about oceans being Mars explored. Is straight dookie. It's about the it's Earth being such a dookie place storms. at the moment. I know. No, like water. You're gonna stay in like a dome all day in darkness. That in Earth. I think it's Why the would I go I think it's the fascination, the practice of trying to go on, go on a different planet, and once we do that, that is a huge step for mankind, as we have just went on Mars. We have just went on. A we're we're planet. we're we're taking three steps forward and five steps back. True. What are the, what the fuck are those three? What the fuck is? the Mars gonna help us accomplish with world peace. We're not happy here on Earth. At all. 
like 80% of the world's fucking suffering for no reason because of diplomatic disputes, political disputes, religious disputes. The world is suffering. And we're just going to be like, oh, let's focus on going to Mars. It's going to fi fix our problem. Like, what? No. You could do that if you want. That's, yeah. you know I mean, that's your money you're burning through. But if we're going to prioritize putting Mars or going to Mars over everything else, don't you think it's a little, you know, just a little weird, especially when we have other issues back at home? Your own workers aren't happy. Yeah. Your own workers aren't happy, and then here you are going to be like, oh, let's let's all work extra hard to, to, to go to a whole other planet in which there's nothing. I think the worst part is the people who are in charge of those. That Elon Musk was put on SNL. Here's the thing, I have no problem with Elon Musk being on SNL. I have a problem with Elon Musk being put on SNL and being as funny as, sh like, not funny at all. Yeah. I would expect them to be funny, like laughing at dying animals again. Dude makes me cry on Twitter every the day. Thing. The reason why is because rich people don't, aren't, re they just aren't relatable. You can't, can't you be. lose relatability once you're a billionaire. That's what I've learned. Yes. It's hard to be a billionaire and be a fucking... Start. Like, once you lose, once you get that devoid shell, like... Once that, because you have to lose a, bar, a bit of your soul at, at that point, you know what I mean? Who you think are amazing could be like complete shells of people, you know what I mean? And it's hard to have that much money and still be, uh, be relatable. not just be relatable, but Get be a quality human. Common man. Like, be a quality human, you know what I mean? And not a complete shell yeah. of a man. I don't know if it's a thing that's lost with age, but I, like, you know what I mean? I've seen old people who are fucking... Rose. Morals are a poor man's quality. You know what I'm saying? Anthony, please. Dude, can we talk about how I booked us a gig at Hard Rock Cafe? <laughs> oh, you didn't! I did, for this Saturday. We're gonna be playing there. It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be great. Um, But the thing is, we don't have anything to play, so... My plan was just to have Raph come up on stage and play Osu in front of a bunch of drunk 60-year-olds. Um, <laughs> they're drunk, so they won't really care. <laughs> um, it's the thought that matters that we at least played a gig in front of people. It's like two people in seizure. It's like two people in seizure. Other people are like losing it because they have no idea what's happening. <laughs> More like our cock cafe. I showed you guys Osu, oh, you were literally so uninterested. <laughs> I can't. You have to know what the game is to be interested. You can't just look at Osu and be like, oh, cool, wow, wow. See, Alano like, no. Gonna, Alano, he's gonna do like what those YouTubers did where they play, they got on the laptop, they made dubstep music and they started playing it and they just stand there behind the laptop while the dubstep music plays. <laughs> and then I'll be on the right side and I'll um tell comedic jokes, I'll try to be as funny as possible, and that all will happen at the same time. Anthony, you're missing So, so factor. you're just, Raph's just making flashing lights in the back, Alano's playing, like, some of the worst music to exist, a keyboard, on some random laptop, yeah. and you're just telling, like, poop jokes, yeah. drunk people. <laughs> Sounds like a fun night. That sounds like the worst. That sounds like lip. We can hire that some like strip dancers to like kind of fill in the gaps. What gaps? The economic we don't have a gaps. composite project. We don't have a composite project. Everything is one big gap, Anthony. That the entire the initial thought is just a circle with nothing in it. There is and was nothing to begin with. No, put your hand down, Anthony. Put your hand down. Down. No, Give Anthony, it. mayonnaise is not an instrument. <laughs> put your hand down, Anthony. And that's the worst part about it. Oh my fucking god. Wow. So, <laughs> like a high rock fucking hotel now.
my lips itching and my my um my throat's itching now and my face is starting to sweat. I don't know why. Take the fucking mask off, you doob. I don't want COVID, <laughs> alright. Huh? What did you say? What did you say? Hard Rock Cap. It's gonna be a great event. Um, we're gonna be streaming on Twitch, guys, so make sure to uh, follow Art, up on that. It's a lie. It's Stop. not a lie. I did it. it. Makes sense. Say something of substance. It is substance. You just don't understand it. No concept that you understand of the Hard Rock Cafe experience. It's gonna be live on Twitch. You'll see Sounded this like Saturday. how an Eldritch you'll see, you'll see being looks, Anthony. You will see this Saturday. What is an Eldritch being? Ever read Lovecraft? Oh, never mind. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We talk about. Um, I made a I made a book back in seventh grade called The Wave, and we're working on a long, like a probably possibly the longest video on my channel. I, I hope I hope I hope everyone who watches this realizes that Anthony is taking college classes. This kid is literally in college. What what classes do you think you're taking? Psychology. And like fucking English or something, right? What are you taking again, Anthony? Oh my! <laughs> Hard rock cafe. Let's this talk kid's gonna. <laughs> this kid's gonna be a fucking major at the age of seventeen. He's gonna have his fucking major before we even graduate. And here he is now, t screaming "Hard Rock Cafe" with a bird mask on. This kid, I, I hope everyone knows, cafe. Anthony's unironically the smartest person in this entire group. Like, actually, the oh, yeah. smartest person in this entire group. It's, here's how it works with... I understand this, it's kind of the same with me. Um, and this is what I'm understanding from Anthony. Anthony's brain is really fast. Like, super fast, you know, like... Light years. Computer. He can he can think of like one billion thoughts at once. Marijuana is not mayonnaise. He does not filter out any of them at all. That comes to mind. Poop and pee. Boom says it. Potassium K does not equal seventeen. See, so many thoughts. He chooses none of the good ones. Tooth. Anthony wanted to, like, he could just calculate, like, an extremely good plan on how to, like, escape Alcatraz with nothing there. Anthony suffers from a thing called pure book smarts. See, where I'm, like, 75% street smarts, 25% book smart. Coco's 50-50. Anthony's 100% book smart, 0% uh, street smart. I know that the street's made of asphalt. <laughs> it, like, 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 it's like... Self-awareness? What part of the sandwich are you? The bun? Awareness? The meat? None. No, self-awareness! The lettuce? The pickle? The, the crazy the part bun. is that he actually has, like, millionaire qualities. Like, he, he has the qualities that most millionaires have, but, Those like, a billion times... Psychopathic and sociopathic tendencies. Yes. No, not really sociopathic, just a little bit. Just a little bit? I'll show you more than just a little bit. And <laughs> I thought we're, carefully, we're making either. a careful analysis on Anthony's entire this personality. Saturday. Like, we know who he is, down to, like, words. Because... There's no nuance. You would like to see a nuance. No nuance. See, and there's pr here's proof. Here's proof that I'm like 75% street smart. I don't know what the fuck a nuance is. Nuance is kind of details, you know, kind of soothing something into like like remember that TikTok trend a while back that was like no nuance November. Um, removing nuance is just getting straight to the point, you know? Oh, so it's just, it's just straight up character, no, oh, no filter, no. More of relating to, like, a thought, 
Uh, so, like, the proper amount of nuance would be... Just give me an example. I guess. Mm. Nuance I could be... I can't wait to see Alano come back with, like, a mohawk. <laughs> I like understand spikes. what nuance is now. Spikes. Thing building up into, like, a core point, you know? So, like, so... four maps could be considered nuance. So, like, let's say... I wanted to get Raph to help me with like moving stuff. Um Hey Raph, I know you're busy. Uh but um you're yeah, or like hey Raph, you're looking really cool there, man. Um I and I know you're all busy, but uh I was thinking and then boom boom boom. Oh, okay, I get it. Think like how do I say this? If Anthony had nuance, it would be like I'm thinking of a topic. I'm gonna think of a topic for the podcast. Oh, look! Here's a nice topic. Uh, open P theory. Let's oh. talk about it because P L squared plus P E squared. Shut up! 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 Sorry, the voices. Fucking Anthony is the reason for the majority of my trauma. Uh, the smartest person in our group also happens to be the fucking biggest idiot in our whole group. Do I have nipples down here? <laughs> if they're here, then they must have been, like, removed or something. How do I explain this? Anthony, it's... Different type of smart. I feel like there's several different types of smarts. Um, Intelligence can't be measured. I think you can't really yeah, me like you, you measure, can't measure. I feel like there's different types of it. You know, yeah. Like um, like of course there's like book smarts. Um, like there's type, like wisdom, like stuff accumulated from ex like knowledge, uh, smarts accumulated from experience, or like intelligence, which you could say, or something like is something like book smarts. You know. Um, and like cunning, um, would be something. Oh, naive. <laughs> Anthony's naive, incre the naivest person I've ever met. Naive, yeah. naive. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's actually like a fucking anime MC. Just like lacking the boldness. On a like, public phone. Anthony, I feel like a girl would go up to Anthony and be like, "Hey, um, hang out later." <laughs> Anthony would be like, "Hang out? Mm -hmm. Why?" Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get pooping. I'm gonna be busy pooping and peeing. <laughs> but and then maniacal laughter, and then walk <laughs> off. So he just suffers from J. Slat. It's their blank face just... <laughs> so, no, he said he was gonna be busy pooping and peeing. Nintendo Switch ASMR, guys, part 7. Part 7. I've been slowly losing my mind. Anthony, Anthony's like I'm like Hitler. These people I've ever met, yet he is utterly and completely insane. Incompetent at sometimes. I feel like he's incompetent for the joke of it. You know what I mean? The yeah. five point seven like, like inch display. He completely chooses the roundabout. He completely, completely chooses. Choose That's a conscious choice he makes all the time. Like with me. Like playing dumb. That's funny. That's why I lower people's um guard and then take advantage of Jackal. it. You know, that's how I get you like your mom and these nice jokes all the time. You know? Yo mama. A conscious oh. choice. Like freaking Anthony does it and then like one day he's just gonna be like, Oh yeah guys, I know like every single digit of pie. How could you guys forget? 
How could you guys forget that? I know 3.141526842323. It's 65, not, uh, it's 3.141592653589796. Uh, I probably went. Oh, I was like, naked. I just breathed in asbestos. Nice! Uh, nice. Oh, actually, my <laughs> lungs actually hurt now. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, well, that's okay. Because, um, breathe in asbestos. Breathe I'm getting like a asbestos. little woozy in here. I don't know why. You're a little woozy? Yeah, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you could oh, get Kendrick Lamar. Just. Elevator and a milk to coconut. We got like Kendrick Lamar on here and he just starts talking about like systematic injustice. Wait, guys, why are we not talking about that? I feel like these podcasts are like if you took uh, Kendrick Lamar's lyrics <laughs> and then you played Astronaut in the Ocean like every right over it. like two seconds. <laughs> Just random, <laughs> in random <laughs> intervals through the thing. Not even. And you put not even Astronaut in the Ocean. Gangnam style. I don't know what that means. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Gangnam style. At the same time. About England and why I love the Queen so much. Did you know the Queen is single now? Like a YouTube poops playing in the back of a fucking conscious debate. This is my scholarly article mixed in with fucking Spy Kids 2.0. Like like a real loud version. Well, guys. Um, the, we're probably going to leave the podcast off here because it's getting late for me now because it's a school it's night. It's been 20 minutes! But, um, no, it's actually been 51. You got your math right, okay? Um, so yeah, that's it for today's podcast. Maybe we'll do another podcast. Um, also, um, <laughs> just a quick note, the GM podcast, we might turn that into like a group channel instead because I feel like I've grown too attached to this podcast channel. Let us know what your favorite part of this episode was. I mean, this was a really interesting episode. We talked about Space Acts, the religious freedom of the Fourth Amendment, and we've talked about a bunch of other things. But um, make sure to subscribe and like, and um, if we get this video... No, we didn't! If we get this video... Comment today, down below which way I should kill Anthony. Comment down below which ear I should start slicing from. They did that in Cuba. But anyways, see you guys in the next episode.